Getting ready to begin Surya Namaskar A. Standing tall in Samastitihi, equal standing posture. Arms are by your side, deep connection to your breath and your bandhas. Inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, look up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, fold forward, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift your head, look forward. Exhale, step your feet back into high plank, moving into low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, where we hold for five deep breaths. Nabi Dristi. You are pulling the crown of your head towards your hands to traction your neck, but you're stretching your eyes towards your navel, so in the opposite direction. But no need to bring your chin to your chest here. Keep tractioning your head forward, traction your tailbone backwards. Push down and out through your feet. At the end of your fifth exhale, walk or jump your feet to your hands, looking forward, inhale. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, look thumbs. Exhale, samastitihi. Number two, inhale, raise your arms, look up. Exhale, slowly fold forward. Touch the floor if you can or grab your shins. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look ahead. Keep your gaze there as you walk or step or jump back into low plank. Inhale, push into up dog. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Remember there are modifications available to you in this posture and every posture. If you stumbled across this video, please refer to the description box below for links and tutorial videos on ways you can modify this movement should you need to. Keeping your breath steady controlled. Let it guide your movements and never get soft in this posture. Push through those hands and feet. Traction your body. At the end of your next exhale, walk your feet to your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward, tuck your chin. Pushing through your feet, pressing your hips. Inhale, raise your arms, reach up, look up. Exhale, samastitihi. Now I'm gonna count for you in this next Surya Namaskar. Inhale, one, raise your arms, palms touch, look up. Exhale, two, fold forward, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, three, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, four, step back to lower down Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, five, upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, six, downward facing dog, Aldo Mukha Svanasana. Five deep breaths here. Your eyes are wide open. You're stretching those eyeballs towards your nose, Nasagrai Dristi. You're pulling your head towards the mat in front of you and your feet are pushing down and out. Your tailbone is pressing to the ceiling. Everything is active. Your breath is so strong. The end of that fifth exhale, walk or jump your feet to your hands. Number seven, inhale, look forward. Eight, exhale, fold forward. Nine, inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, look up to your thumbs, reach, reach, reach. Exhale to samastitihi. Inhale, one, raise your arms. Exhale, hinge from those hips, fold forward, two. Three, inhale, lengthen your spine. Four, chaturanga dandasana, low plank. Five, inhale, upward facing dog. Six, exhale, downward facing dog. Feel your body in space. Set yourself up, making sure your hands and feet are in the right position so you can really connect to the earth beneath them and you can push into and out of them to use that pressure to stretch or extend your body. And all the while you're breathing and you're squeezing those internal muscles, mulabandha, uddiyana bandha. You're wide awake, your breath is steady. 
At the end of your next exhale, walk or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, seven, look forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, eight, fold forward, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, nine, raise your arms. Exhale, samastitahi. Last one we'll do in Sanskrit. Inhale, come raise the arms. Exhale, do a fold forward, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, Trini, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, Chatwari, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Pancha, upward facing dog. Exhale, Shat, downward facing dog. Nabi Dristi, looking towards your belly button, your navel. Five deep breaths. Focus on Mulabandha. Every inhale, squeeze your pelvic floor. And every exhale, feel your navel press to your spine as you push the air from your throat back down towards your pelvis. You are present, you are aware, you are very much here, your mind, your body, and your spirit. At the end of your exhale, Sapta, jump your feet to your hands, look forward. Ashtau, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Nala, raise your arms, palms touch, look to your thumbs. Exhale, Samastite, bend your knees, inhale, raise your arms, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward, tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward, keep your head up and gaze forward as you exhale, walk or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, press into upward facing dog. Exhale, push back into down dog. Now pivot your left foot flat, step your right foot forward. Inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, look to your thumbs. Exhale, hands to the floor, step your right foot back, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. While you're exhaling, pivot your right foot flat, step your left foot forward. Inhale, your arms, raise them up, palms touch. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor, looking forward, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog, lengthen your spine. Exhale, push back into down dog. We will hold here for five deep breaths. Make sure you're pressing your tailbone towards the ceiling, reaching the crown of your head towards the floor in front of you to traction that spine. All the while, your eyes are wide open. You're looking towards your nose, but you are stretching your head towards the floor in front of you. Pushing those hands down into the floor. Breathe deep, use those bandhas. Focus, focus, focus. You are present in this moment. At the end of your exhale, walk or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, look thumbs. Exhale, samastitahi. Number two, bend your knees, inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, one. Exhale, fold forward, two. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward, number three. Exhale, walk or jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana, position four. Inhale, upward facing dog, position five. Exhale, downward facing dog position six. Pivot your left foot flat, step your right foot forward. Inhale, raise your arms, position seven. Exhale, position eight, hands to the floor, step back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, nine, upward facing dog. Exhale, 10, downward facing dog. While you exhale, pivot your right foot flat, step your left foot forward. Inhale, 11, raise your arms, palms touch. Exhale, 12. Step back, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, 13, upward facing dog. Exhale, 14, downward facing dog. So in position 14, we rest in this down dog for five deep breaths. All the while, your bandhas are strong, your breath is steady, eyes are wide open. Try not to soften in this posture, but traction through your body, through your hands and your feet and your spine. Be present in this moment. Steady, steady breath.
At the end of your fifth breath, 15. Walk or jump your feet to your hands, look forward. Exhale, 16, fold forward. 17, bend your knees, raise your arms, palms touch, look thumbs. Exhale, samastitihi. The last one I'll count in Sanskrit. Bend your knees, inhale, ekam, raise your arms. Exhale, due, fold forward. Inhale, trini, look forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, chatwari, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, pancha, upward facing dog. Exhale, shot, downward facing dog. Sapta, inhale, take that right leg, arms up, palms touch. Ashtau, exhale, lower down, chaturanga dandasana. Nawa, inhale, upward facing dog. Dasha, exhale, downward facing dog. Ikadasha, left leg forward, raise your arms, palms touch, look thumbs. Dwadasha, come down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Trayodasha. Exhale, Chaturthasha, downward facing dog for five deep, slow, steady, beautiful breaths. You so deserve this time. Try not to get distracted with thoughts that pass through your mind. Instead, breathe them away. Every time you get distracted, bring everything back to your bandhas and your drishti and your breath. The movements that you're creating with your body. You're doing such a great job. The end of your fifth exhale. Banjata sha, jump your feet, inhale, look forward. Shoulder sha, exhale, fold. Saptadasha, bend your knees, raise your arms, palms touch. Exhale, samastitihi. We now begin standing sequence with Padangushtasana. Inhale, step your feet hip distance apart. Exhale, hinge from the hips, take your big toes with your peace fingers and thumbs. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, hinging from the hips, fold forward. Five deep breaths. You're looking to the tip of your nose, Nasagra Dristi. You're pulling the crown of your head towards the floor as you press your tailbone up. You're pushing your feet down and out as you push your tailbone up. And you're gripping your fingers tightly as you pull your fingers forward and squeeze your back. Try to create all of those oppositions of force in your body to create incredible stability and strength. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, Padahastasana. Take your hands underneath your feet from the front. Inhale, lengthen your spine again. And exhale, hinge from your hips to fold forward. It's okay if you need to keep a bend in your knees here. And it's okay if all of your hand doesn't go underneath your foot. Just try your best to stand on your hands to release pressure from your wrists from your sun salutations. As always, you're pushing down and out through your feet as you press your tailbone up, tractioning the crown of your head towards the floor as you look to your nose, and you're allowing your elbows to bend as you fold your body together. Steady, deep, focused breaths. Eyes wide open. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, take your hands to the floor in front of you. And on your inhale, push down through your feet, push your hips forward and stand tall. Exhale, samastitihi. Utita Trikonasana, triangle posture. Inhale, turn to your right, extend your arms, turn your right foot to the right. Exhale, extend out over your straight right leg. Keeping your left arm to the sky, either hold your shins or grab your big toe with your peace finger and thumb. And all five breaths, traction and lengthen your body, pulling your head forward and your tailbone backward as you push your feet down, reach your arms up. Eyes are looking to your hand, Hastagra Dristi. Focus on Mulabandha and deep, steady breaths. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, hinge from the hips and begin to fold forward out over your straight left leg. Uddita Trikonasana, Vamabhaga, left side. You're reaching up through that right hand, gripping through your left fingers, stretching your eyes to your hand. Head is tractioning forward, tailbone tractioning back, and feet are grounding down. Deep, deep breathing. On your next inhale, slowly lift up to stand. Revolve triangle, Parvrita Trikonasana. Reverse your feet, square your hips, bringing your left hand to the outside of your right foot 
and taking your right hand towards the ceiling, looking up to your fingers. If you're struggling to bring your left hand to the outside of your foot, remember those modifications. You can bring both hands to the floor, or you can bring your left hand to the inside of your right foot. Gives you a little bit more stability and balance. On your next inhale, body rise. Exhale, reverse your feet, square your hips so we can take our left side. As you place your right hand down now, again, it may be on the inside or outside of your foot, depending on the modification you choose. We're working to traction the spine. So you wanna be grounded in your feet. Left foot pushing down and forward, right foot pushing down and back. Tailbone pushing back as your head pulls forward. The rotation comes through the groundedness. Inhale, body rise, extend the arms, feet parallel. Exhale, samastitihi. Utita parsva konasana. Inhale, turn to your right, extend your arms, turn your right foot to the right. Exhale, bend your right knee, bring your right hand to the outside of your foot, stretching your left arm overhead, looking to the fingers of your left hand, hastagra dristi. Wherever you are in this pose, stay with your breath and your bandhas and ground down through your feet and extend and reach through that arm. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, reverse your feet and take your left side. Maybe bringing your left forearm to the top of your left quadricep or the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Work on opening your body here. You're pushing your left knee to the left, your right hip to the right, and really extending through your spine. Reach those fingers, look up to them. Breath is steady. Focus on deep breathing with sound in from your throat through your nose, out from your throat through your nose. Every in-breath, squeezing your pelvic floor, squeezing mulabandha. On your inhale, body rise. Exhale, parvrita parsvakonasana. Reverse your feet, drop to your knee, take your left arm over your bent right knee, and pushing through that bottom hand, start to rotate and turn your back foot flat, straightening your back leg. This is the full expression of the posture. But remember, you have lots of options for modification, so please refer back to our video on revolved side angle posture or paravrita parsva konasana. Really lengthening out through that stretched right arm. Stretch your eyes up to your fingers. Push your tailbone back. Your feet are pushing down into the floor. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, reverse your feet. Square your hips, dropping down to your right knee. Work to take your right arm over your bent left knee, placing your right hand to the outside of your left foot if you can. Otherwise, modify this pose. And then come up into the full expression, taking your back foot flat and your leg straight. Reaching through the fingers of your left hand, looking to those fingers. Push your right foot down and back. Your left foot down and forward. Push your tailbone backwards as you push your left knee to the left. All the while, your breath is strong and steady. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, return to Samastitihi. Prasarita Padottrasana A. Inhale, turn to your right, hands to your hips. Exhale, hinge from your hips, fold forward. Bring your palms to the floor in line with your feet. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale and fold. Five deep breaths here in Prasarita Padottrasana A. Your eyes are wide open. You're looking down the tip of your nose, Nasagra Dristi. Your hands are pushing down and forward into the floor. Your feet are pushing down and out as you press your tailbone up and as you traction your head straight down towards the mat. Keep your breath steady and your bundle strong. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips, stay there. Inhale, slowly lift your body up to stand. Exhale. B, inhale, extend your arms, stretch them out wide, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring your hands back to your hips. Inhale, lift the chest, open your torso, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward. Make sure you maintain a flat back. Keep squeezing your elbows and your shoulder blades towards each other. Keep tractioning the crown of your head towards the mat in front of you as you press your tailbone towards the ceiling and push the feet down and out. 
Keep a tiny bend in your knees so you don't overstretch those hamstrings. Steady, deep breaths, looking to your nose. Nasagra Dristi. Inhale, body rise. Exhale. C. Inhale, extend your arms, lengthen your spine, lift your chest. Exhale, interlace your hands together behind you. Inhale, lengthen your spine, open that chest. Exhale, you're hinging from your hips as you push through your feet and you squeeze your palms together. Only go as far as your torso allows. Don't force this. I always start with my knees bent here, so I let the traction happen naturally through my spine, and then I work to straighten my legs. So I invite you to work on doing so. It also helps protect those hamstrings as well. By keeping your palms pressed together, you're not going to overstretch one shoulder or the other. Equality and balance, my friend. That's what we seek. Deep breathing with sound. Traction that head towards the floor. Breath is steady. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, D. Lengthen your spine. Keep your hands at your hips. Open your chest. Exhale. Hinge from the hips. Fold forward. This time you're going to take your big toes with your peace fingers and thumbs. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Fold forward. Again, I always start with a little bend in my knees here, so I make sure that I'm tractioning my spine properly. Gripping those toes tightly. Really pull. Pull the toes forward with your fingers. At the same time, engage your back muscles as you bend your elbows out wide. As you push down and out through your feet, press your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Keep pulling your head towards the floor. Looking down the tip of your nose, Nasagra Dristi. Prasarita Padottarasana D. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, body rise, stand up tall. Exhale, return back to Samastitahi. Great job. Parsvottanasana. Inhale, turn to face the back of your mat as you bring your hands behind you and reverse namaste, reverse prayer. Exhale, start to lengthen out over that straight right leg. You can modify this posture if you need. You can always take different modifications. Please refer to our video on Parsvottanasana for modifications for this posture. Wherever you are, you're trying to lengthen your body. You're pushing your feet down and out as you pull your tailbone back. Even though you're folding your torso over your leg, you're not rounding your body. You're trying to extend it. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, reverse your feet, square your hips, and begin to extend out over your straight left leg. Deep, steady breaths. You're pushing your left foot down and forward, your right foot down and backward. All the while, push the palms of your hands together. Keep squeezing your back muscles. Keep tractioning your neck and your spine and your tailbone. Be steady in your breath. Be steady in your breath. Inhale, body rise. Return your feet to parallel. Extend your arms. Exhale, return back to Samastiti. Utita Hasta Padangustasana, our first balancing posture. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Inhale, lift your right leg. Take your big toe with your index, middle finger, and thumb. Exhale, start to fold your torso forward over your straight right leg. Let your elbow drop down so you're using some of your bicep and your back muscles and not all your shoulders. You're pointing your right toes forward as you continue pressing your right hip back. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, take your right leg out, and if balance allows, try to look over your left shoulder. Parswadristi, side gaze. Continue pointing the toes of your right foot as you squeeze your back muscles and open your chest and push your left hip forward. It all helps you to balance your body, stack your weight in space. Inhale, your leg to center. Exhale, fold forward again over that leg. Inhale, stand up tall, release your toes, and take five deep breaths here. 
Your hands are at your hips. You're looking to your toes. Padayora gradristi. Really lengthen out through that leg. Stand up tall. Straight legs. Straight spine. Deep breaths. Exhale, release. Left side. Inhale, lift your left leg. Take your big toe with your peace fingers and thumb. Exhale, fold forward over your straight left leg. Keep your right leg straight. Work to push your right hip forward. Your left leg is strong. Point the toes. Push the left hip back as you lengthen your body. Keep reaching the crown of your head towards your toes. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Lift your body. Stand up tall. Exhale, start to take your left leg out to the left as you bring your gaze over your right shoulder. Parswadristi, side gaze. Standing up tall because you're stacking your weight in space. Using tensegrity. Feel the body ground down as it lifts or opens or extends or engages. Find all those oppositions in yourself. Inhale your left leg back to center. Exhale, fold forward over that straight left leg. Inhale, stand tall again, extending your leg, hands to your hips. Five deep breaths. Work hard. This is hard. Work to keep both of your legs straight. Pushing your hips forward, lifting your chest up, lengthening your spine. Toes are pointing. Breath is steady. Bunda is strong. Doing a great job. Exhale, samastitihi. Wonderful, wonderful job, guys. Our second balancing posture, Ardha Baddha Padmottanasana. Inhale, lift that right leg up and bring it into half lotus or whatever modification you're currently taking. If you're doing the full expression binding your foot, exhale, fold forward over that straight left leg. As always, refer back to the videos that we break the postures down for you if you want to look more into the different modifications available to you. Wherever you are in this posture, remember your breath, your bandhas, those matter most. So stay connected to how you're breathing and the bandhas you're engaging inside that body. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale there. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, samastitihi, left side, wamabhaga. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And if you are, Go ahead and take that full position by wrapping your arm behind you and grabbing the big toes of your left foot. And on your exhale, fold forward to bring the palm of your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Your left hand is grabbing hold of the toes of the left foot. You're working to bring your forehead towards your shin, tractioning your head towards the floor, your tailbone towards the ceiling. Keeping your breath steady and your bundle strong, eyes wide open. Focus on this moment. Balance is hard, just do your best. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale there. Inhale, body rise. Exhale, samastitihi. Utkatasana. Inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, look to your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, bend your knees, walk or jump your feet to your hands. Feet are together, knees are bent, stretch those arms up towards the ceiling and look up to your thumbs. Angusta Madhya Dristi. Breath is so steady. Feel grounded down through your feet as you reach and reach and reach up through those fingers. The knees are bent. The body is engaged. Breath is steady. Use those bandhas. From here, bring your hands to the floor and jump right down into Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale into Down Dog. Warrior One, Virabhadrasana. Pivot your left foot flat. Step your right foot forward in between your hands. Inhale, raise your arms, palms touch, and look up to your thumbs. Angusta Madhya Your breath is steady. 
Make sure that your right knee is right over top of your right ankle, your back leg is straight, and your feet are pressing in opposite directions. Keep your bandha strong, keep your chest lifted, deep steady breaths from your throat through your nose. Inhale to straighten your body, stand up. Exhale to reverse your feet, square your hips, and come into Wamabaga, left side. Arms are reaching up, feet are pressing apart. Your left knee is right on top of your left ankle. As you look up to your thumbs, lift the chin slightly. Keep the body lengthened. Breath steady, bandha strong. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana. Turn your arms out wide, keep your left knee bent, keep your right leg straight. And now for these five breaths, really work to extend out through your arms as you press your left knee to the left and press your right hip to the right. Slowly stand up, straighten that left leg, reverse your feet, bend your right knee. Keeping your arms extended and working to squeeze your back muscles together, your right knee is again on top of your right ankle with your back left leg straight, looking right past the fingers of your right hand. Hastagra Dresti. Great job. From here, bring your hands to the floor and step or jump back, lower down Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Look forward and walk or jump through and have a seat on the floor so we can begin Dandasana, the first posture in the seated sequence of Ashtanga Yoga's primary series or Yoga Chikitsa. As you sit tall, palms are pressing to the floor, legs are stretched out, and you're working to bring the skin of your chin to the skin of your chest to fully engage Jalandhara Bandha. This is Dandasana or staff posture. As always, we'll take five deep breaths here. Keep your legs straight and really focus on pressing your heels forward as you press your hips backwards. Your back is nice and long as you bring that chin to your chest. Inhale, lengthen your spine, grab your big toes. Exhale, hinging from your hips, fold forward, Pachimottanasana A. In this first forward bend, you are gripping your big toes with your index, middle finger, and thumb while you press your heels forward and push your hips backward. As you gently grip your fingers around your toes, that helps to turn on the muscles of the upper arms. And think of extending the crown of your head forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. B, bind your hands and wrap them around your feet. So this is the full expression of Pachimottanasana B. If you want a modification, just bring your hands to the outside of your foot. In the full expression, our stomach and chest and chin rest flush on our legs, and we're reaching the crown of your head towards the toes in front of you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release, cross your legs, roll forward, step back, come into high plank and down into low plank. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, press through to down dog. From here, walk or jump through and have a seat on the floor so we can begin Porvotanasana, our Eastern Bend stretch. Your arms come behind you, fingers facing your glutes about a foot behind you, and you're going to press your hips up as you push your hands down and your feet down. If you're comfortable, let your head drop back. In this posture, work hard to push through the feet as you lift your hips. Exhale, release, take a vinyasa, cross your legs, roll forward, step or jump back, coming into high plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, press back through to down dog. Walk or jump through and have a seat on the floor for Ardha Bada Padma Pachimottanasana. Bring that right foot into half lotus or towards half lotus. Wrap your right arm behind you, bind your toes, and on your exhale, Fold forward out over that straight left leg. In the full expression, your stomach and your chest and your chin rests on your thigh and your shin, reaching the crown of your head forward towards your toes, keeping your breath strong and your bandhas active. Make sure with the arm that's binding that you're continuing to activate your back muscles and not letting that shoulder droop down and forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release, cross your legs, step or jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana. 
Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, look forward, walk or jump through. Have a seat for your left side. So now bring your left foot into half lotus. Bring your arm around behind you to bind your toes. And on your exhale, reach your right arm forward to grab that foot, resting your chin or your forehead on your shin. When you've reached the full expression and your body really lengthens forward, you're more than welcome to bring the forehead to the shin or keep pressing that chin to the shin. Keep squeezing the muscles of your back to take that shoulder up and back, opening your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Vinyasa, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward and jump into Triang Mukha Ekapada Pachimottanasana. Jumping through with your left leg stretched out in front of you and your right leg bent back behind you. Ground your sits bones, lengthen your spine, and on your exhale, fold out over your straight left leg. If you're taking the full expression, you are binding your right hand around your left wrist, which is over your left foot. Think of pushing your foot into your bound hands as you push the top of your right foot down as well as your right hip. Breath is strong, bandhas are active. Great job. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release and jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And look forward, jump through into our left side, wamabaga. As I said, you're welcome to jump through and then bend that left leg back and ground your sits bones. From here on your exhale, extend and fold out over your straight right leg. Refer to the tutorial videos for different modifications for Triang Mukha Kapata Pachimottanasana. In today's practice video, I'm demonstrating the full expression, but there are many options for you to help you work your body through to getting open enough to take the posture in its full expression. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Get your dog out of the way. And jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale into down dog. Looking forward, walk, step, or jump through. Stretch your legs out in front of you for Janu Shirshasana A. Bring that right leg out to the right, 90 degree angle at your hip. Square your hips forward. And when you're ready, take your forward bend on an exhale. Binding the hands around the left foot. Think of pressing your left heel forward as you grip the hands and push them towards that foot, it creates a wonderful tensegrity or opposition of force that activates the musculature of your leg and your arms. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release. Take your vinyasa walk or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Getting ready to jump through or walk through for our left side of Janu Shrishasana A, once you come through to seated, bring that left foot into your inner right thigh. Your left knee is at a 90 degree angle. Square yourself forward, bind your hands over your right foot, and when you're ready, exhale to fold. If you're able to bring your stomach and your chest onto your thigh, you're welcome to either keep your chin on your shin or drop your forehead to your shin and keep stretching your head forward. Breath is steady, bandhas are so active. Deep, steady breaths. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release. Let's cross our legs and jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Come all the way through, have a seat on the floor. Now we're getting ready for Janu Shirshasana B. So bring your right foot into your inner left thigh like you did with A, but this time you're gonna slide forward to sit on your right foot. Make sure your toes are facing forward. From there, if you're taking the full expression, bind your arms around your foot and on your exhale, fold forward. Five deep breaths. 
You'll see my chin is on my shin. Your drishti can be either you're gazing to your toes, or if your chin touches your shin, you're welcome to drop your forehead to your shin and gaze down the tip of your nose. Keep your breath steady, keep your bandhas strong, and keep pressing your heel forward into your hands as you push your hips backwards. Tensegrity in action. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Take your vinyasa, cross your legs, walk or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, press back into down dog. Gently look forward and hop, walk, or jump through and have a seat on the floor, stretching your legs out for our left side. Left foot comes into your inner right thigh, lift up, slide forward to sit on the heel of your foot, making sure your toes are facing forward. Bind your hands around your foot if you're taking the full expression and on your exhale, fold forward. Again, you're reaching your chin towards your shin, looking to your toes, but if you rest your stomach, chest, and chin on your shin, then you can drop your forehead and look down the tip of your nose. As always, keep your bandhas strong, keep your breath steady, and keep activation of your body. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release your bind, cross your legs, and step or jump back into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back into down dog. From here, look forward and walk or step or jump your feet through and have a seat for Janu Shirshasana C. Bringing your right leg up, bring your right arm underneath your right foot to help guide your toes towards the floor and the heel of your right foot into your hip crease. You wanna make sure that that right knee is touching the floor before you fully bind and fold forward. Otherwise, take another modification I've shown you in the tutorial for Janu Shrishasana C, sitting up tall until your hips open. Then you can take this full expression. Keep your breath steady. Keep that active tensegrity, opposition of forces. Deep breathing with sound. Strong Mulabandha. Keep the tensegrity by actively pressing your left heel forward and your hips backward. Keep pressing the heel of your right foot into your hip crease. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release, vinyasa, cross your legs. Step or jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. And let's come through for our left side, Wamabhaga. Once you come through to seated, bring your left foot now into position. The heel of your left foot's pressing into your hip crease. The toes of your left foot are pressing into the floor. And if your left knee is touching the ground, fold forward on an exhale and bind your hands around your right foot. Throughout the entire five breaths in the pose, stay engaged. Keep your quadricep active. Keep pressing the heel of your left foot into your hip flexor. Keep pushing your right heel forward as you push your hips backward and actively grip as you bind your hands around your foot. Keep extending your spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release and take your vinyasa. Step or jump back, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, look forward and walk or jump through and have a seat on the floor so we can start Marichyasana A. Bend your right knee up, leave a hands width of space between your right foot and your left thigh. Reach your right arm forward, wrap it around your right leg, then wrap your left arm behind your body and bind your hands. Exhale, fold forward over your straight left leg. Marichyasana A, pose dedicated to the sage Marichi. Traction the crown of your head towards your foot. Keep squeezing your back muscles together as you tightly hold the bind and press the knee into your ribs. Steady, deep breaths, looking right down the tip of your nose, Nasagra Dristi. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release the posture and vinyasa. Walk or jump back, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, push back into down dog. From down dog, look forward and walk or jump through. Have a seat on the floor so we can start Wamabaga left side. Bend your left knee up, leave a hands width of space between your foot and your thigh. Wrap your left arm around your bent right knee, right arm behind you, bind your hands together. 
Lengthen up out through your spine on your inhale and exhale, extend out over your straight right leg. Looking to the tip of your nose, Nasagra Dristi. Continuously work to engage the muscles of your back to help keep the chest open, especially on that right side. As you breathe, remember to engage those bandhas. Every inhale, squeeze your pelvic floor. And every exhale, make sure you're breathing out from your throat through your nose, noticing your navel press to your spine. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release and take your vinyasa. Step back, lower down into chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, press back into downward facing dog. And when you're ready, look forward and step or hop or jump through and have a seat on the floor for Marichyasana B. Bend your left knee into half lotus, bend your right knee up. Then reach your body forward, wrapping your right arm around your bent right leg, taking your left arm behind you to bind your hands together. Squeeze those back muscles, keeping your chest open and on an exhale, fold forward. If you can bring your chin to the floor, you're in the full expression of this yoga asana. Five steady deep breaths as you work to bind your hands, squeeze those arms around your knee, squeeze the knee into your ribs, and keep tractioning your torso, your entire spine, and your head forward. Deep breathing with sound. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release the bind, release the legs, and take your vinyasa step or jump back into high plank and then chaturanga, dandasana, low plank. Inhale to up dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. From down dog, look forward, walk, jump, or hop through and have a seat for left side. Bring that right knee now into half lotus, bend your left knee up, wrap your left arm around your bent right leg, and then bring your right arm behind to bind your hands together. Grab that wrist if you can, squeeze your back, lengthen your spine, and exhale, fold forward. Your torso is continuously extending forward as you bring your body downward. You're continuing to squeeze that inner right thigh to gently engage your hamstring so that knee doesn't splay out to the right. Keep pressing your left knee into your ribs and keep pressing your arms into your leg. Breathing from your throat, through your nose, actively engaging your bandhas. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, release the posture and take your vinyasa. Step or hop or jump back and lower down into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward, step, hop, or jump through. Have a seat on the floor so we can begin Marichyasana C. Like A, bend your right knee up. Now you're going to take your left arm over your bent right knee, wrap that arm around, then shift your weight forward, bring your right arm behind you and bind your hands. If you can, your right hand is grabbing your inner thigh as your left hand binds your wrist. You're looking over your right shoulder, Parswadristi side gaze. Keep pressing that right knee into your arms, which will help lengthen your torso upward more and help you rotate. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release and vinyasa. Step or jump back and lower down into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. From here, look forward and slowly jump hop or walk through and have a seat for left side, bending your left knee up now, taking your right arm around your bent left leg. Then slowly shift your weight forward and bring that left arm behind. If you can, bind your wrist. And if you can, let that left hand grab your inner right thigh. Looking over that left shoulder, deep breathing with sound. Every inhale, keep trying to shift the weight forward into your right hip. Every exhale, keep pushing that left knee to the left. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release the bind and take your vinyasa. Step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. From down dog, when you're ready, look forward, 
and either step, hop, or jump through. Bring your left foot into half lotus, bend your right knee up, shift your weight forward, then take your left arm over your bent right knee, just like we did with Marichi Asana C. Bring that arm underneath behind your leg, shift your weight forward, and then reach that right arm around to bind your hands. Once you're in position, looking over your right shoulder to Parswadristi side gaze. Like C, think of those oppositions. You're gently squeezing your inner left thigh, and with every exhale, you're pushing that right knee slightly to the right to help continue to lengthen your torso up as you rotate your spine. Deep breathing with sound. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release the posture, release the bind, cross your legs, step or jump back, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. When you're ready, step or hop or jump through, have a seat, left side. Bring that right foot into half lotus, bend your left knee up, take your right arm around your bent left knee, and then work to bring that arm underneath and through, then shift your weight forward, take your left arm behind and bind your hands. Once you're in posture, every inhale, think of lengthening up through your torso, and every exhale, think of pushing that left knee slightly to the left to help you rotate your body naturally. Keep your bundas strong, keep your breath steady. Slow, even breathing. Great job, guys. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release the posture. And vinyasa, step or jump back, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From down dog, looking forward, jump through to seated, extend your arms and legs immediately, coming right into navasana, boat posture. We take this asana five times in a row with a lift in between. Cross your legs here, inhale, lift. And again, number two, extending your arms and legs, Looking towards your toes, Pada Yora Gradristi. Keep your breath steady, keep your bunda strong. Cross your legs, hands on the mat, inhale, lift. Number three, extending your arms and legs. Please refer to our tutorial video on Navasana for modifications for this posture. Cross your legs, hands on the floor, inhale, lift. Coming into number four, extending your arms, extending your legs. When you notice your face getting tight, try to relax your face and jaw and bring your awareness back to your pelvic floor. Cross your legs, inhale, lift. Last one, number five. Extending your arms, extending your legs, gazing towards your toes. Deep, steady breaths. You're doing a great job. Cross your legs, lift up and jump back. Lower down into chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Getting ready for Buddha Pidasana. Look forward, bend your knees and jump your legs around your arms, crossing your right foot over your left and on your exhale, begin to lower down into posture. Arm pressure pose, Buddha Pidasana. Five deep breaths, chin is hovering right above the floor. The end of your fifth breath, inhale, lift up. Straighten those legs. Exhale, take your legs back to Bakasana and jump back Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale into Downward Facing Dog. From Down Dog, we're getting ready to start Kormasana. Look forward. You're going to jump your legs around your arms. Get your shoulders underneath your knees, hands to the floor, and then slowly lower down. Then from there, bring your arms back as you push your heels forward. Work hard with each exhale to gently press your heels forward as you simultaneously press your hips backward. Trying to get your stomach and your chest and your chin on the floor. We stay here for five deep breaths in Kormasana. Work simultaneously to press your heels forward as you press your hips backwards. Working to bring your stomach, your chest, and your chin flat on the floor. At the end of your fifth breath, we're gonna start working our way into Supta Kormasana, lifting your body up, Walk your feet in towards each other. Walk your body deeper underneath your legs. Working to get the heels to touch, toes splayed. Working to bring the chin to the heels. Bind your hands and then cross your right foot over your left to come into Subta Kramasana. 
If you want to do this posture from seated, then after Kramasana, you would sit up, bring that left leg behind you underneath your neck. Once you get it securely around your neck, balance your body and then take your right leg behind you and cross it in front of your left foot and slowly start to walk yourself forward, bringing your forehead on the floor and crossing your hands together behind your back. Five breaths here in Supta Kormasana. Regardless of which variation you take to get into the posture, please be mindful of continuously pressing your head down and forward to be able to balance and take pressure off your head. After your fifth breath, bring your hands to the floor, press your body up, then push through your hands to lift your body off the floor. Exhale, release your legs, straighten them out, then take your legs back to Bakasana and jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog. From Down Dog, jump, hop, or step through and have a seat on the floor for Garbha Pandasana. Bring your right foot into Half Lotus and then your left. Then we're gonna bring the arms through the legs. Starting with your right arm, bring that arm all the way through, clear your elbow, then find your balance and work that left arm through. Once your arms are through, you're gonna bring your hands to your face, working to try to grab your ears with your hands and hold here five deep breaths. You're gazing right in between your eyebrows, Brumadya Dristi. Keep your bandha strong, keep your breath steady. At the end of this fifth exhale, we're gonna to start to rock and roll. You're gonna exhale down the left side of your body and inhale up the right. Continuously rocking, exhaling down on the left, inhaling up on the right so that we rock in a circle and make our way back to the front of the mat. Make sure you're never rocking directly on your spine but on your erector spinae muscles. Once you get back to the front of your mat, on your next inhale, roll up and balance on your hands, lifting your whole body off the floor. Keep that chin up, head up. Deep breathing here in Pendasana, five deep breaths. The end of your fifth exhale, release. If you got a doggy in the way, you gotta give them a little love. And then make sure they're not in harm's way as you jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale into Downward Facing Dog. Great job. From here, look forward and jump, hop, or step through and have a seat on the floor, getting ready for Baddha Konasana. Bring those feet together as close to your body as you can, and on your exhale, fold forward. Your legs are splayed out to the side, your hands are grabbing your feet, belly is on your feet, chest is leaning forward, and your chin or forehead are on the floor in front of you. Five deep breaths. This is Baddha Konasana A. The end of your fifth exhale, you'll slowly inhale to lift your body back up to a seated position and then start to round your body as you exhale, working to bring your forehead to touch your toes, elbows pressing onto your thighs. One of the only times in the primary series practice we actively round the body. Keep your breath steady and your bandha strong. At the end of your fifth exhale, you'll inhale, lift back up to seated. Exhale, cross your legs and step or jump back and lower down chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Looking forward, hop or jump through and have a seat on the floor. Stretch your legs out, take those legs out wide. Grab the outsides of your feet with your hands and as you exhale, fold forward. Upavishta Konasana, five deep breaths here. You wanna to work towards getting your belly, then your chest, then your chin to the floor. Keep flexion through your feet during the entire posture and focus on deep, steady breaths. The end of your fifth exhale, inhale to lift up. Then we're gonna lift those legs, balance on our sits bones, still grabbing the outsides of the feet with the hands. Now we're pointing the toes, take your head back, lift your chest up. Five deep breaths, Upavishta Konasana B. Make sure that you really try to focus on gently activating your mid back to help you continuously lift the chest. The end of your fifth breath, cross your legs and jump or hop back into Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale to Downward Facing Dog. You're gonna hop or jump through, stretch your legs out and lie down on your back. 
On your next inhale, take your legs overhead, grab your big toes with your index and middle finger and thumb, and then spread your legs wide. We're gonna balance here for five deep breaths, Supta Konasana. Make sure you're pressing the back of your head into the floor, lifting the chin up, really work to slightly arch your back and press your tailbone towards the ceiling as you balance on your shoulders, keeping your feet flexed here. At the end of your fifth breath in this posture, we're gonna roll up to balance on our sits bones for one breath, gripping the toes, and then exhale, lower down. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, release, and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Looking forward, step, hop, or jump all the way through to seated. Stretch your legs out in front of you and roll down onto your back, getting ready for Supta Padangushtasana. Inhale, lift your right leg, take your big toe with index, middle finger, and thumb, and as you exhale, bring your torso to meet your leg and your leg to meet your torso. Five deep breaths here. Your left hand is resting on your left thigh. Really work through your core to lift your upper body to meet your leg. The end of your exhale, lower your head and then begin to take your right leg out to the right, looking over your left shoulder, Parswadristi. Most important that you keep that left hip grounded to the floor. So don't worry about how far you bring that right leg out. At the end of your fifth breath here, we're gonna inhale the right leg back up to center Exhale one more time to bring the chin to the shin. Inhale your head down. Exhale, release your leg, and we come to our opposite side. Inhale, lift your left leg, grab your toe. Exhale, bring your torso to your leg and your leg to your torso. Your right hand is pushing down into your right thigh to help stabilize that leg. Keep pointing through both toes, deep, steady breaths, and at the end of your exhale, lower your head. Begin to take your left leg to the left, and look over your right shoulder for Parsvadristi side gaze. Deep, steady breaths here, strong Mulabandha. Activation through your breath, through those pointed toes. Keep your breath steady. With every inhale, squeeze your pelvic floor, Mulabandha. Every exhale, feel the breath move from your throat through your nose. Inhale your left leg back to center. Exhale your chin to your shin. Inhale your head down. Exhale, release your leg. From here, we're gonna take Chakrasana if you know how to do it. Otherwise, just sit up and take a vinyasa. But if you're joining me for Chakrasana, lying flat on your back, inhale, take your arms and legs overhead, roll over your head and land back in Chaturanga. In inhale to up dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. When you're ready from down dog, slowly come through to a seated position. Lie down slowly on your back, bend your knees, bring your feet close to your glutes. From here, bring your hands in position to take back bend. And when you're ready, inhale, push through your hands and feet and lift your body up into a full back bend. Five deep breaths here. As you work to push your hips forward, bandhas are strong. Try to relax your glutes in this position. Exhale to the crown of your head for one breath. Inhale back up to number two. We're doing three total. As always, once you come into your back bend, really focus on pushing your pelvis towards your toes so you're working to stack your weight so we can work to eventually learn to stand up out of a back bend keeping that breath steady and those bundas strong exhale to the crown of your head for one breath inhale press up our last back bend if you'd like you can try to start walking your hands closer to your feet and i always work to try to take my heels out and toes in a bit so my feet aren't too splayed Keep your breath steady here, and when you're ready, if you're in too close, then walk your hands out instead of your feet and lower down on an exhale. Good. Stretch your legs out. Inhale, slowly come sit up. Take your vinyasa. Cross your legs and walk or jump back. Lower down into chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Gently look forward and hop, walk, or jump through and have a seat on the floor, stretching your legs out. And exhale, fold forward for 10 deep breaths in a forward folding position. This is to counterbalance the work that you did with your back bends 
by doing a forward bend. A little more relaxed than when you took your forward fold at the beginning of your seated sequence. And you want to do this regardless of the variation. So whether you're doing bridge or just regular back bends or back bends coming to stand up. Once you finish your three bridges or your three back bends, you want to sit on the floor, fold forward, take your deep breaths. Keep your bunda strong, keep your breath steady. We're working to start to settle the body down now. We're getting ready to slow down the practice and come into inversion. So take your time, breathe deeply. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release and vinyasa. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. When you're ready, look forward and walk, jump, or step through and have a seat on the floor. If you're like me and you have little dogs in the way, just don't hit them when you jump through. From here, stretch your legs out and roll down onto your back. We're getting ready to do shoulder stands, Salamba Sarvangasana. From a supine position, slowly roll up to balance on your shoulders. Use your hands on your lower back to support yourself and help you push your hips more further forward so you get your body perfectly wrecked. Press the back of your head into the floor and lift your chin up. You're working to take 16 breaths in Salamba Sarvangasana, but if you need to take fewer breaths in the beginning, that's totally okay. Keep your bunda strong here and really focus on your neck position. With these inversions, it can put a lot of undue pressure on your neck, so actively push your head back to turn on those neck muscles and create space between your neck and the mat. Make sure you're pointing your toes, soften through your face, soft through your face and your jaw, strong bandhas. Great job. On your next exhale, start to lower your toes towards the floor, interlace your hands together and stretch them on the floor behind you. Halasana, plow pose. Your toes are pressing into the floor, and as you push the toes down, try to press the tailbone up. Again, another version of tensegrity opposition. Still working to press the back of your head into the floor and lift your chin towards the ceiling to protect that precious cervical spine. Eight deep breaths here in Halasana Plow Pose. On your exhale, bend your knees towards your ears for Karna Pidasana, Ear Pressure Posture. If you can get your knees all the way to the floor, start to gently press those legs towards your ears, hence the name of the pose, and let the feet very gently touch together. You're welcome to keep your arms in the same position or you can separate your palms and press them flat on the floor. Keep pressing that tailbone up, almost as if you're trying to arch your back in this position. Eight deep breaths. Inhale, come back up into shoulder stand. Once you get your dog out of the way. And from here, you're gonna take either half lotus or full lotus. Then bring your hands to your knees into upward facing lotus posture called Urdhva Padmasana. Still pressing your head back and trying to lift your chin as you balance on your shoulders. Keep your bunda strong, keep your breath steady. This can be a challenging pose, so if you'd like, you're welcome to keep your hands on your back. And as always, if you cannot take full lotus, crossed legs is perfectly appropriate in this posture. On your exhale, drop your crossed or lotus legs towards your face, wrap your arms around your legs and give yourself a big hug. Pendasana. With all of the finishing sequence poses, except for shoulder stand and headstand, and utplutihi, we take eight deep breaths. Same for this asana, pindasana. Really connect to your neck position, to your breathing, and to your bandhas. The end of your eighth exhale, start to slowly roll your body down to the floor. Keep your legs crossed or lotus. Arch your back, use your elbows to help come onto the crown of your head. Then straighten your arms and grab your feet. Matsyatsana, fish posture. 
really try to squeeze your lotus legs together and actively pull your feet forward with your hands and your arms to turn on those arm muscles and help activate your back. As you push your head on the floor, you're pushing down into it as you try to lift your chest and your chin. Activation, opposition of force. Now extend your legs out 45 degrees and bring your palms together, arms extended. You're pointing your toes and you're still on the crown of your head for Uttana Padasana. Really work here with Mulabandha and your breathing. It makes the pose a whole lot easier. At the end of your eighth breath, you're gonna lower your legs to the floor. Make sure you have room so we can take Chakrasana. On your inhale, the same time, you're gonna take your arms and hands overhead, roll over your head and come back into Chaturanga. Inhale to Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Now we prepare for Shirshasana, so gently lower to your knees, interlacing your fingers and pressing your forearms onto the floor. Then bring the crown of your head to the floor and bring the back of your head into your interlaced fingers. Lift your hips up and start to walk your feet in until your weight is stacked evenly and you can begin to start floating up. Once you get into headstand, we're taking 20 breaths in this posture. Really work to press down through your forearms and the base of your hands and try to press your legs and your toes up towards the ceiling. Connect with Uddiyana and Mulabandha. Keep steady, deep breaths and just connect here with the weight stacking upon itself, making this so much more effortless. As I said, we take 20 breaths in this posture in the Ashtanga practice, but you can work to build up to 20 breaths over time. So if after five or eight or 10 breaths you need to come down, feel free to do so. On your exhale, hinge your hips backward to bring your toes down. If you'd like, you can come back up for one deep breath and then exhale, lower back down. Bring your feet all the way down, bend your knees and rest in Balasana, child's pose, for 10 deep breaths. At the end of your 10th deep breath, we're gonna start to transition out of Balasana. Bring your hands forward, come into high plank and lower down Chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale into downward facing dog. And from here, look forward and walk or jump through for our last three postures. Bring your legs into lotus, cross legs or half lotus. Bring your arms behind you. If you're in full lotus, you're working to bind your hands. And on your exhale, fold forward. This is yoga mudra. I like to teach students to work to continue extending the spine and squeezing those back muscles, trying to bring your chin to the mat. Focus as well on deep breathing gently squeezing your inner thighs, and of course, engaging Mulabandha. Eight deep breaths here. On your next inhale, gently lift your body up to seated for Padmasana. Stretch your arms out, bring your thumb and index finger together, place them on the back of your knees, and then bring the skin of your chin towards the skin of your chest to engage Jalandhara Bandha eight deep breaths in lotus posture. 
working to sit up nice and tall with a very slight curve of your lower spine to truly stack your weight. Gently squeezing your inner thighs for a tighter lotus. Focus here on your breath. We're about to take rest. Connect your body, your mind, and your breathing together. On your next inhale, look forward. We're getting ready for Uplutihi. Bring your hands to the floor and inhale, lift your hips up. 10 breaths here. Really work to keep the chin lifted. Keep your bandhas strong. Keep squeezing those inner thighs and keep focused on Mula Bandha. Exhale, gently release. Take your vinyasa. Step back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward and walk or step or jump through to have a seat on the floor. Turn around and lie down and take rest. For the next few minutes, just let your body completely soften into the floor beneath you. Return back to a natural rhythmic inhale and exhale and really let your body grow heavy into the floor beneath you. This is where you truly reap the benefits of the practice you've just taken and where you really work to balance all of the energy that you've exerted and that you've gained. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch your arms overhead, stretch your feet out in front of you. Bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs and rock from side to side, massaging your back into the floor. And when you're ready, let yourself fall to one side, taking another few breaths here. From there, inhale up to a seated position. You did such a great job today. Namaste. As someone who uses natural and effective ways to enhance my well being, I was pumped when I discovered LumaFlex, the revolutionary red light therapy panel that's taking the world by storm. LumaFlex combines cutting edge technology with the power of red light therapy, providing you with a simple and convenient solution to optimize your health and improve your daily life. You may be wondering, what exactly is red light therapy? Red light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation, utilizes specific wavelengths of red light to penetrate the skin and stimulate a variety of cellular processes. LumaFlex takes red light therapy to a whole new level. Its advanced LED technology emits precisely calibrated wavelengths, ensuring optimal effectiveness and delivering results that you can see and feel. Red light therapy has been studied extensively and has shown great potential in promoting collagen production, reducing inflammation, and improving cellular function. This this translates to faster recovery after workouts and injuries, joint and muscle pain relief, improved blood circulation, improved skin health, increased energy and vitality, enhanced performance, stress reduction, and even accelerated healing of wounds. Red light therapy has been used by astronauts, professional athletes, and physiotherapists for decades. LumaFlex brings this therapy into our hands, making it accessible to everyone. With its sleek and flexible design, LumaFlex is portable, lightweight, and easy to use. But that's not all. LumaFlex is committed to sustainability, using eco-friendly materials and energy-efficient LED technology. Guys, this is such an incredible product. And if you're one of the first 10 viewers to 
order a LumaFlex device with the link and discount code in the description box of this video, you'll enjoy $220 off of your LumaFlex device. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your well-being. Check out the link in the description box and be one of the first to experience the transformative power of LumaFlex.